In uh, Gadgets and Gizmos Part 8, I described the uh, Tailstock die holder, and I've since done a demo of that. But in the same Part 8, I described this knurling device, which I'll call a straddler, I think is a suitable name. Uh, in essence, we've got two parallel sections with a wheel on each, spring-loaded, and uh, this is going to go in the tool post. I've got a piece of scrap prepared, adequate to demonstrate this, so uh, let's go ahead and set it up and see what we can do. Right, well we've prepared again a piece of scrap just a piece of round bar out of the uh, out of mud steel out of the box of bits uh, it's been roughly turned just to a slight profile slight relief here slight relief there a little bit of chamfer and we've got it here on a live center which is always desirable for the uh, use of knurling takes a bit of strain off although we are very close to the chuck this area here is uh, probably about, I don't know, about 20 thou bigger and that's the bit we're going to try and put a knurl on. Now despite the rooster crowing, which you may have heard, well this is the uh, main setting up and what we're trying to do here is to get the uh, rotational axis of each wheel, one top, one bottom, more or less over the centre of the workpiece. And we're then tightening down, compressing the spring. And we're going to keep going. I've actually just flipped the uh, straddler knurler in the tool post because you'll notice now the adjustment is down the bottom that's because I'm working on a fairly small diameter piece uh, on large diameter stuff it can be the other way up so what I'm trying to do just recap we're going to come forward here get over the center of the workpiece and then we'll tighten the uh, setting a bit or back off. We notice now we've got some pressure building up. Lots of oil, sulfur based oil on the wheels, on the pins. Now we're going to put the handle. If you remember the handle I've described in previous uh, series. This is going in the spindle and now I'm going to advance the uh, cutter over the work. We'll start on the left. And we'll start to bring it over the work. We're getting close to center. Now the first, the top wheel you can see turning probably. Now I'm going to start a traverse whilst I rotate. I've got a very, very light bite. Very, very light at the moment. And that's brought me to the other end. Now I'm going to increase the pressure. And I'm going to traverse back to where I just came from. So manual feed. This is actually easier on a larger workpiece. Now we're beginning to get some pattern. Now what I'm going to do is to back off, take a more advanced increase of setting, and come up to the work. Just get a bite on it. Let's just come back. 
get an initial bite. Feed in a bit more pressure. Now at this stage, it's not uncommon to see a double knurl forming. And as the bite gets better, it starts to take on what we require. So some more oil. And plenty of oil. And we'll wind in a bit more pressure. Now I'll try and traverse to the left. There's a certain approximate speed of traverse which feels normal. You don't try and fight the bite of the wheels too much. Going to the left hand end. Advance a bit. We're not quite straddled over centre yet. More oil. A little more advance. We're getting very close to being over, over the top and bottom centres as now. I'll take one more. I'm going for a fine knurl on this one. A bit more oil. Just feed in a bit more. We're virtually over top and bottom centre now, which means that a lot of the load is taken by the tool and reduces the amount of force on the workpiece uh, spindle axis. Just gradually working towards the right hand end. And we're just about there. There. Well there's the there is the neural. And it's a fairly fine one. I'm not going any deeper than that on a small diameter. And the, uh, <coughs> the only thing that now really needs finished is just to get a tiny little chamfer on that. So if we turn that round. Right. Just putting a bit of chamfer on the uh, left hand edge here. set up. Okay so I'm going to bring this tool in just to touch, back off. And I'll we'll take this out. I'm just going to wire brush this real quick. <clears throat> so there's our piece. It's got a it's been center drilled, so I can use a live center to give support. And that's given me a fairly clean knurl. We could in fact go deeper than that, but the idea here is just to show you what's going on. Reducing the stress on the spindle. And tail stroke quite dramatically because of the straddling over a top and bottom centre. Final afterthought, the, uh, <clears throat> the neural on this knob here was done with this uh, same setup because the knob was made to replace a temporary one and you can probably see that that is the same degree of knurling but I might mention that if the uh, start is made very aggressive because the wheels are coarse, uh, which you might, 
I think it's that shows you can see how coarse the wheels are and if the initial bite is made very aggressive it's possible to keep the pattern to, to get a larger coarse type neural it's down to what's really required but the end result's quite satisfactory and not too bad.